no matter the location. From OAK LA to LV, I'm a Raider. Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Sport. Today's show, five potential moves the Raiders could do in order to free up cap space to go out and see the man on screen, Jadeveon Clowney. Today's show is brought to you by Manscaped. Go to manscaped.com slash Raiders. You're going to be able to get 20% off and free shipping. Because let's face it, all Raider fans out there, you need to have a perfect package. And uh, Manscaped, they're going to help you do that. So Jadeveon Clowney, the Raiders do have some interest in him. Gruden really wants him. Mike Mayock, uh, you know, Mark Davis. They're saying, we don't really want to up the ante. But for the Raiders, you still got seven rookies that you need to sign. Only $7.9 million in cap space. So what needs to happen? Maybe some trades. Maybe some cuts, maybe some contract restructuring. That's all coming up here on today's show. So here's the question, right? Multi-million dollar question. Should the Raiders sign Clowney? If you're like Mitch, yes, the Raiders should absolutely sign to Devion Clowney. I want you to like the video, okay? I want you to like the video for yes, or I want you to type N for no. And if you already like the video, because I'm seeing some people say, Mitch, I already like the video. How about this? You can like the video for yes, and also comment yes. It's all good here. It's all good, okay? So I am seeing some no's from Daniel Keenan. Uh, somebody said we don't have the funds. I'm glad you said that we don't have the funds because today's show is about creating the funds to go out and get Jadavion Clowney. So the first thing that I'm going to mention here is you could trade Gabe Jackson. I love Gabe Jackson. I think he's a fun player. I think he brings a lot to this team. And when fully healthy, he is a great asset to this offensive line. He's one of the reasons why I'll even make the argument. The Raiders have the best offensive line in the league. But if traded, okay, the new team would end up paying Jackson $9.35 million, which then that means $9.35 million is off our books. Ultimately, after bonuses and all that, it's like $9.6 million that we end up saving. So why would the Raiders end up trading Gabe Jackson? Well, if it basically is like, hey, we trade Gabe, we can go and get Clowney, then you got to be ready to rock with a guy like John Simpson. And there's already reports out there right now that Simpson could end up starting. I gave that one only one Chucky head. As much as I like Simpson out of Clemson, I'm not ready to throw him into the fire. You also have Denzel Good, who the Raiders signed all the way back in January to $2 million. So, like, the fact that they were shopping, Gabe, maybe the Raiders move on from him. Now, the reason why I think it's going to be a hard sell is because of the injuries. If Gabe Jackson was 100% healthy, there's no doubt in my mind if the Raiders would have wanted to trade him for a fourth-round pick, which is apparently what they were asking for, they would have got it. The issue is, with everything going on right now with the Big C, with COVID in general, the fact that he was only able to start in 11 games last year, 13 games, the injuries are starting to rack up for Gabe. So if you can move on from Gabe in a trade, save that money, maybe you can go out and you'll get a player like the Devion Clowney. So I need 400 more subscribers to get to 49K. I've been trying to get to 49K for way too long, and you know I had some people asking, Mitch, why didn't you do a show on Friday? We didn't get the 49K subs. And honestly, I don't know if they're going to let me do a show on Friday this week unless we get the 49,000 subs. So... If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button to the over the 1,000 people watching us live. I want you to send the link that you see below, youtube.com slash Raiders Report, and tell the biggest Raider fans that you know, okay? Because more subs equals more videos, and I don't know about you. I like doing my shows here. I like talking Raiders all the time. If you like talking Raiders, this is the channel for you. All right, let's keep it moving here on the show. Another player that you could potentially trade is Tyrell Williams. And the reason why I think that the Raiders would want to trade Tyrell to go out and get a player like Jadeveon Clowney is because, well, they've already really invested a lot in the draft and even in free agency and going out and getting some receivers. The issue with trading Tyrell is, well, you got to convince a team that they are going to have to pay his $11.1 million, which, as much as I like Williams, that's not an easy sell, especially for a player coming off some injuries especially for a player who's already said that he's still kind of battling that Liz Frank injury. And, well, for a guy that has only had one 1,000-yard season, and it was back in 2016. So even though when Tyro was fully healthy last year, a very talented player, and I do think that our offense is better with Tyrell, but if you're asking me right now, Mitch, would you rather have Tyrell Williams or Jadeveon Clowney? I'm going to pick Jadeveon Clowney every single day of the week. Why? Because I'm confident in rugs. I think Renfro can at least just get it done enough. But then also, Brian Edwards is a player that I like a lot. Yeah, I don't, I'll don't. i be honest, I don't have too much confidence in a player like Nelson Aguilar, but I really like what we have at our tight ends. And I think if you get rid of Williams, and if it means going out and getting Clowney, guess what? That's something I'm all on board for. But honestly, the only way you're going to trade Tyrell Williams is for like the perfect trade package. Speaking of the perfect package, you can get yourself the perfect package at manscaped.com slash Raiders. Luckily for you, 
by going to that link that you see below, you're gonna be able to save 20% off and get free shipping. So what exactly comes in the perfect package from Manscaped? My favorite product, the Lawnmower 3.0. It is the best male grooming product out there, period. If you're trying to trim up your chucky head a little bit, I can't show you because, well, then I would definitely get blocked on YouTube. But seriously, it's rechargeable, it's safe in the shower. If you haven't seen it already, I've literally already shaved my face here live on the show to show you how well it works. And also what comes in that perfect package is boxers, unbelievably comfortable. When you sweat in them, it doesn't really let anything soak through because you also get ball toner, you get ball deodorant, and it all comes with an awesome traveling case. I just traveled home to Pennsylvania and I took my case. I'll be honest, I spilled some toothpaste in it, but it didn't leak out because the case is awesome. Bottom line is this, if you're a guy out there and you're trying to have that perfect package, there's no better way to do it than by going to manscaped.com slash Raiders. 20% off free shipping. It's in the comments, it's in the description, and if you don't believe me, go ask all the thousands of people that have already gotten this deal. Cool? All right, I'll keep the show moving here. One guy that probably needs to get a perfect package is LaMarcus Joyner because it's been far from a perfect match uh, with the Raiders, that's a fact. Now, LaMarcus is a player that I have a lot of confidence or had a lot of confidence in, but now if ordered to go out and get Clowney, he is a player where I think the Raiders could at least think about trading him, right? If you'd ask the Raiders right now, hey, Trade LaMarcus Joyner, get Jadeveon Clown, and they do it in a heartbeat. The issue is, again, not many teams are wanting to trade for LaMarcus, and if you do trade him, you're probably only going to get like a six-round pick, and the reason why I say that is because you are selling low on Joyner because he had a very, very rough year. Now, one of the reasons why I think they could do it is they have a lot of confidence in a player like Amik Robertson, who they drafted in the fourth round, 139 overall, and if he doesn't play better, it would not surprise me if they honestly try to replace him rather quickly because you can't have the production that he had last year on the football field especially when you're going up against guys like Patrick Mahomes you're going up against some of the great offenses that are in the AFC West so here's right now what the Raiders have at the defensive backfield okay you got Joyner there at nickel if you don't play well I'm telling you right now Meek Robertson ready to take his job I've talked to players about Keyshawn Nixon another player who I think is ready to rock and roll so Lamarcus Joyner making the money he is cut him trade him well I'm going to ask you this question. So it might be a little difficult to answer on live, but I want you guys to do it while we're live. But if you're watching this on Wednesday, what I want you to do is I want you to scroll on down, okay? And you got to keep one, you got to trade one, and you got to cut one. So you're going to keep Gabe Jackson, you're going to keep Tyrell Williams, LaMarcus Joyner. And if you want to know what I would do, okay, this is kind of a spin off of, you know, uh, marry one, kill one, and yeah, you guys know the other one. So Gabe Jackson, Tyrell Williams, or LaMarcus Joyner. Keep trade cut. If you want to know my answer, hit me up on Instagram at MitchellRens365. Let's now go to number four here, okay? This show is all about trying to save cap space. Moves that we can make to save cap space in order to go out and get to Devion Clowney. So if we made those three trades, okay, let's say we don't want to do any of those trades. Well, maybe the easiest way to free up the money is to start cutting players. Now, here are the five players that I would try to move on from in order just to save the most money in order to, well, you know, not cost us anything in dead cap hit either. You can go out and cut Gabe Jackson. That's going to save $9.6 million. Nicholas Morrow, $3.26 million. Nathan Peterman, $2.13. Derek Carey or Zay Jones. Now, for money's sake, okay, you still got to pay your rookies. If you cut all these players, that means you save $18.24 million. The only reason why I'm showing that, I don't think they're going to end up cutting all those players, is because let's just say Clowney is like, you know what, the only way I'm coming here is for $18 million. Technically, if you cut all five of these players, you do it for you enough money to make that $18 million. So that's why I'm showing that. So let's go back to Gabe Jackson, okay? The reason why you cut Gabe Jackson is because you're not fully confident in his health, and you are very confident in a player like Denzel Good. You're very confident in a player like John Simpson. And as much as I know they are confident in them, Gabe Jackson is much better than both those two players at this current time. However, if it means that you can go out and get a player like Clowney, maybe you consider doing it. They also have a lot of extra depth at guard, a lot more than what they have at tackle. So Gabe Jackson, you cut him for 9.6. The other player that I talked about was Nicholas Morrow. And right now I do think that Morrow is going to be the starter at the strong side of linebacker position. And he was second on our team in tackles last season. He was kind of thrown into the fire. But what happens if we get the better version of Markel Lee, which, let's be real, Markel Lee was better than Morrow back in 2018. Injuries slowed down Lee. Also, you go out and draft Tanner Muse this upcoming this past draft in the third round, 100 overall. If you told me right now, hey, 
Got Nicholas Morrow save a little bit over 3 million, 3.26, in order to free up room to go out and get Clowney. I think it's something the Raiders would consider. The other player that I talked about potentially cutting is Nathan Peterman. And the reason why I, I would actually cut Nathan Peterman is I could save 2.13. And let's just say worst case scenario. Derek Carr goes down. Let's say worst case scenario, Marcus Mariota goes down. You could actually just throw Lynn Bowden in for a game, have him play quarterback. And there's other quarterbacks in free agency that I would rather have than Nathan Peterman. And that's just point blank honesty. So you could cut a player like Peterman, save $2.1 million, and you know, create a little cap space for a guy like Jadeveon Clowney. So cap space, millions. You're not going to have to pay millions to subscribe to the Raiders board. 100% free. So if you're a diehard fan, okay, if you bleed silver and black, if all you wear is Raiders stuff, if you honestly are like that one Raider fan where every single person, when they talk about Raider fans, they mention your name, that's who I want to subscribe to the channel, okay? So if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button. It's right underneath the video you're watching. So if you're watching this on desktop, if you're watching this on your mobile device, all you got to do is just hit that button that says subscribe, and we don't miss any videos. Videos, 100% free, daily uploads. Just trying to help you all out. All right, let's go back to some of these players here, okay? So Derek Carrier, you could save $1.85 million, and then Zay Jones, $1.4 million. The reason why the Raiders would move on from Derek Carrier is simple. They got a lot of depth already, and I get it. They're going to run three tight end sets, which, yes, I totally believe. But you could cut carrier, save 1.85, and then potentially, you know, lean on a guy like Paul Butler. And I actually also know that they're pretty high on Nick Bowers, the UDFA out of Penn State. Do I think it happens? Honestly, I don't. But if you're telling me, hey, moves I got to make to save millions, yeah, Derek Carrier is an option there. The other player I'll mention is Zay Jones. And if you watch my projected 53-55 man roster video, I did have Zay Jones making the team because I do think he ends up making it. But again, this video is all about moves that you could do to save cap space. When it comes down to it, it really could come down to just every single million counting. So Zay Jones, 1.4. I'm confident in the other players that we have. So those are the top five players that I think you could cut. So out of those five players, what I want you to think about is this, okay? Out of those five players, which one would you cut? Because I think when you really go back and look at this video, and I want you to think, okay? That's what the Raiders report is all about, thinking and reacting. So who would you cut? Gabe Jackson, I want you to type GJ. Nicholas Morrow, NM. Nathan Peterman, NP. DC for Derek Carey. Or ZJ for Zay Jones. So scroll on down on YouTube or on Facebook, okay? And I want you to let me know. I want you to let me know which player you would cut from the ones you see on screen. The last move might be the most interesting to me, okay? It's restructuring Trent Brown's contract. And the reason why I'm going to bring this one up is because if you don't want to cut players, if you don't want to trade, maybe my favorite option in order to save up cap space to go out and get Clowney is number five, restructuring Trent Brown's contract. So this is what it looks like. In 2020, he's scheduled to make $21.25 million. In 2021, $13.75. 2022, wait, yeah, 2022, $15 million. Why would Trent Brown exactly do this? Well, honestly, after this season, it's not going to cost the Raiders anything to move on from him. So if I'm Trent Brown and I want to guarantee that I'm going to be on this team for the next three years, you could restructure this base salary and make it look a lot like the way the Raiders did with Rodney Hudson's contract. So in this this season, okay, like not too long ago, he uh, on April 1st, 2020, he agreed to convert $11.6 million of his base salary into guaranteed roster bonus. What did that mean? That mean $9.3 million in cap space freed up for this team. So if you look for Hudson, a player that I absolutely love, maybe the Raiders could go look at what they did with Hudson and do it to Trent Brown's contract. Raider Nation, what's going on? Is this the number one Raiders channel on YouTube? For Chucky Heads, believe it, baby. And if you haven't already, subscribe right here. I'm giving you Chucky Heads news, rumors, Raider Nation rumors. And look at this, I'm making your life easier. Check out my next video. Thanks for watching and go Raiders.